And you know, whatever the film, big or small, the director is always in charge. And to prove to you how good I am at my job, when we were looking for two great dramatic actors for our remake of Around the World in 80 Days, we didn't hire Sir John Gielgud or Robert De Niro. We hired two actors who can really act. Honoured the world over for their contribution to dramatic arts. Mr. Thomas Cannon and Mr. Bonnie Moore! Hello, boys and girls. I am Phileas Fogg, flying around the world in 80 days on a passenger pleasure trip with my perky little pal, Pat Patoon. Skimming through the clouds in a hot air balloon. Reaching, reaching, reaching for the star. And how are you, Passepartout? Uh, I'm very bilious, Phileas. <laughs> Can we go home now, Tommy? My backside feels like the back end of Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> what a witty little Frenchman you are. I am. Now listen to me, right? You've There's got a... me skin. Never mind your skin. There's a very important person here tonight, and they might think you're trying to ruin the show, right? I'm not bothered what Jason Donovan thinks. <laughs> Shut up. I'm as sick as a pig, Tommy. I'm nauseating. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> Whose idea was it to have us stuck up in that cardboard balloon since four o'clock this afternoon? <laughs> I get sick when I lick an airmail stop. It was my idea, actually, Ducky. I thought this would be our big chance to break away from the tawdry realms of low comedy and plummet, plummet into the world of classical acting. You'd like to be legitimate, wouldn't you, lovey? <laughs> yes, I would, lovey. <laughs> but it's a little bit late now, isn't it? <laughs> and I'll tell you something else, Liam Demon, what you didn't know. I turned down the role of that French fella with the big nose in that French film. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he means Cyrano. Yeah, that's him. They give it to a scruffy French fella. Gerard Doggy Poo. <laughs> Depardieu. Yeah, yeah. Would have loved to have seen you play Cyrano. Wouldn't we, kids? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. I'm excited. Tommy, announce me, announce me. I'll go and get me props. Make it big, Tommy. <coughs> I'm excited. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Bobby Bone Crusher Ball in the immortal role of Serrano de Bergerac. Tit, it's me, Tommy. Yeah, I can see that. Roxanne. 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 Roxanne! I'm acting now, Tommy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. No, Roxanne's my fiance. All oh, right. Roxanne, Roxanne. Wake up, you stupid bird. <laughs> so wait now, Tom. <laughs> Not surprised. How was I, Tom? Do you want to know the truth? Pa? Tell me, tell me. Well, some people would say that was absolutely, positively pathetic. <laughs> pathetic! Walking out here trying to get a few cheap laughs with a big nose stuck on your face. More like Pinocchio than Serrano. I've got a going to there. Never mind. Some people would even say, Bobby, that you showed me up, let me down in your abysmal attempt to desecrate a great French drama. It was absolutely humiliating. Absolutely humiliating. Some people might say that. <laughs> Some people might say that. Some people might say that, Bobby. Say it again, they didn't hear you. Some people might say that, Bobby, but not me. Come here. Come here. I... No, don't do that in front of me. I thought you were brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Did you, Tommy? I did. Would I lie to you? No, you wouldn't. No. I've said it and I'll say it again, Tom. You're a legend to me, boy. <laughs> legend? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Tommy, mm. can we go home now? Of course we can. No, on the bus. Yeah. yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>